Hello and welcome to the 2020 Remarkable Raider Program. The Remarkable Raider Program was designed to recognize seniors that stand out in a marvelous way. While academics are important, this program does not rely solely on academic accomplishments. It focuses on honoring well-rounded students that have excelled in co-curricular activities such as the arts, athletics, or in the community. Remarkable Raider also honors students that have overcome personal challenges. Congratulations to all of our honorees and their families. I am very proud of you and your accomplishments. Please join me in celebrating our 2020 Remarkable Raiders. Hi, my name is Dana Brown, and I'm here today to tell you about what it means to be a Remarkable Raider. Um, I'm really excited that I got chose to be a Remarkable Raider because I feel like throughout my high school experience, I've um, definitely made my mark there <laughs> and I've tried to make the best of every experience that I had to come. This is definitely not how any of us seniors expected our senior year to go, but we just have to take it and run with it and do with it what we can, um, make the best of every situation because there's only one senior year and we just have to embrace what we get. And um, I think that to be a remarkable Raider, you just have to have that, you know, mindset. You have to be kind to who you see. You have to be involved in whatever you can be. Uh, it's not about just going to school and being a good student and getting your homework done and then not thinking about school afterwards. It's about going to school whenever school hours aren't in and being involved in whatever you can be involved in. I think that I've definitely done that. I've tried to make relationships with everyone that I've met and it means a lot to me that I was um, elected as one of the Remarkable Raiders. Um, it's also about your teacher relationships and what you gain from them because obviously teachers have a lot to teach you, not just about the subjects and um, things we need to know for testing. We also need to know life lessons and one of the people that I can thank for that is Miss Foster. She has definitely helped me through my high school experience. Uh, she actually still teaches at East Paulding and she was one of the people that I knew I could always go to and she's really special to me and always will be because of who she is as a person. I really look up to her and her values and she's always taught me to just take life as it comes and um, I'm really grateful for her and the relationship that I have with her. Another person I can thank for um, being my teacher is Mr. Holcomb because he has not only taught me a whole bunch of great things about government and how it's going to uh, impact my future, it, he's also taught me how to, you know, be prepared and just know who's right in front of you. You need to know as much as you can about a situation before you judge it. And I think that he tries to teach his students as much as he can about life and how they're gonna you know view things before before they walk out of his classroom and that's just another awesome thing is he just really cares about what we learn from him and i've always looked up to him and his uh values as well these people have really impacted my life and i think that whenever i go to college and after i graduate whenever i have my own life that i will always look back on east paulding and the people that i've gotten to know there and i will always thank the people that um have walked with me through this journey i am so excited for my future and what's to come and i'm so glad that i can always look back on east paulding and the memories i've made there i think the first step to remarkability is humility it is to say, I am but a person, as is everyone, and we are all independent beings with our own trajectories towards our respective life meanings. Such an accolade as Remarkable Raider is both an honor, but also a bit of a paradox. Because to truly be remarkable requires something far beyond associating a select group of people to be remarkable. I do not discredit my own journey and hardships to get to this place where I am today. Throughout the past year and a half, I've worked 20 hour work weeks while still going to school, keeping straight A's, I spent hours at theater rehearsals and helping build sets. But honestly, the more I worked, the more I sacrificed, the more I began to witness that we are all strikingly remarkable and that I could not have made the achievements I've made without the collective participation of everyone I've ever worked with. Everyone is a unique cog in the machine of life. 
High school is an extremely evolving experience. We are all developing more complex thoughts and opinions and beliefs. In high school, you are laying the foundation of the building that is to become your life. In elementary school, you're breaking ground, and in middle school, you're leveling it out, mixing the concrete, building the mold. Beyond high school is where you build your structure. Some may go high like a skyscraper, others may opt for a one-level house. The world is your oyster and is also contingent on how your foundation was built. Teachers play a huge function in that critical foundation structure. The reason I most wanted the opportunity to receive this award was for my teachers. I wanted to be able to speak about them and the ones that have impacted me the most. They are the ones I would like to honor my award to. I don't think people grasp what even just one or two amazing teachers can do for a person's life, a person's spirit, and a person's trajectory. I'm a firm believer that our teachers, the ones that are bright and talented, leave many lasting impacts on students, sometimes that may never, sometimes that they may never even know. There are many teachers I would like to recognize. I was taught by some of the most brilliant minds that I know of in little old Paulding County. But I was able to narrow down two uniquely impactful educators that I've had the chance to encounter more than once. The first educator I'd like to recognize gave me a home here at East Paulding High School. She gave me a purpose. Navigating social life in the Hector Skelter world of puberty and development is very hard, especially given today's volatile social decay. Miss Hensley, or as we call her Miss B, goes far beyond what a teacher is traditionally tasked with. She is arguably one of the school's most effective counselors. Teaching people the humanities, expression, and how to process emotions has translated far off the stage. I've watched her console teen parents struggling to get through school. I've watched her confront those who couldn't find comfort at home. I've watched her confront addicts and relationship issues. I've watched her deal with the plague of the human ego in a world so obsessed with materialism and self-gratification. Miss B teaches as she can, her students what it means to be a part of a collective, a part of an ensemble to tell a story with fully conceived messages, how everyone must be an equally contributive member to efficiently run a system, how no one's value is worth less than another. Her shows encompass messages of love, equality, hope, endurance, and hardship. She serves to redefine how we value labor as a society, and she has been far, by far one of the most democratic educators I have met always giving her students a voice, willing to collaborate and uplift our ideas. Miss B has been there for me through during my own personal mental and social hardships, and she gave me something to do during high school in a community that embraced my art and work and passion. She gave me purpose, maybe a temporary one, but nevertheless extremely important in my high school career. She also gave me lessons about people, about society, about empathy that will never leave me. She makes life more enjoyable and worth living, She's also human. She lets her students see her at her lows and highs. She shares her economic struggles, her family woes. She can connect with the student at a much deeper level. She is the ideal teacher, the gold standard in her field. And while she may come across as crazy at times, it only serves to validate her position as a true educator. There are a good handful of teachers at EPHS who rise to this level but I have had the blessing to have been with Miss B for three years of my high school experience, both in classes and many evenings at rehearsals, trips to Home Depot, and excursions to see other theater productions, as well as competitions that I must acknowledge, competitions, that I must acknowledge the unique impact she has made on me. The next educator I would like to acknowledge has been in my life for a long time. I first had the honor of being educated by him in my eighth grade Georgia Studies class. I then was able to have him again my senior year in honors government. He is the reason I am choosing the career path, or rather a lifestyle, of political science and activism today. He is the reason I can utilize critical thinking and the power of logic. Mr. Holcomb touched me at three critical junctions in my educational development. The first time his theories and teaching strategies were implemented was actually in my sixth grade social studies class with my teacher, Mrs. Jackson. She used the Chris Holcomb Holcomb strategy and began familiarizing ourselves with the with a very radically different approach to how we think. In eighth grade he expanded the concepts much broader as education often does during its progression of complexity. Most importantly Mr. Holcomb taught us to always question, even him. I was never afraid to have a contrarian stance with him. I was never afraid to speak, ask a question in class. 
And he was also, and he has also proven his willingness to change his own ideas upon listening to a student's perspective. In his class, we make each other better intellectuals and more tolerant human beings. Eighth grade was just the dipping our feet into the water. By 12th grade, he had us swimming. He never backed away from pushing college level education, educational material and learning strategies in the classroom. He wasn't afraid to give us rigor. I also watched him empower students and fight with them when they called themselves dumb or worthless or that they just couldn't rise to the level of the material he was giving us, what our failed education and social systems have cultivated. He didn't care about the subjective nature of grades. He cared what, that his students walked away from his class with a more critical and deeper understanding of our American government. How partisanship, partisanship and the zero-sum game of politics we live in today is nothing more than a facade created by those in power to keep us divided. Christopher Holcomb was the reason I abandoned my whole ideology in eighth grade, as I realized I was not thinking critically. I was just parroting what others and my grandparents had told me to believe. Holcomb unleashed in me the desire to ground all of my beliefs in evidence, in historical and social evaluations, in critical thought. He goes well beyond this, though. He also embodies a person who has killed their ego, who is a uniquely pure soul. Every action he pursues is based out of sacrificial, unconditional love. He's a hugger, a teddy bear. He has a way of making you feel more human. Just like Miss B, Mr. Holcomb is a gold standard in education. And if our schools were filled with a thousand more Holcombs and Hensleys, I believe we would be in a fundamentally different, more human, more empathetic, and a more just society. We are severely lacking these types of educators, these types of humans. Our educational system has massively failed students, and I fear it will have lasting consequences, consequences that have long been unfolding. But Holcomb has inspired me that to ensure a society of Holcombs and Hensleys, I must take their wisdom and expand it, dig deep in college and start spreading and evangelizing the different way of thinking. I must be willing to be an activist, to fight and buck the system, to sacrifice everything for even the chance to give this type of a better world to my brothers and sisters, to our children and grandchildren, to start a revolution. I believe the universe put these educators in my life for a reason, that they are pivotal to my mission in life. They are what is remarkable, and thus they have remarkable, thus they have fostered remarkable students. Hello, East Potting High School. My name is Seth Gernon, and I have been selected to be a 2020 Remarkable Raider. What it means to me to be a Remarkable Raider is that people can pick me out of a crowd. They see characteristics in me, such as being a leader, showing responsibility, having a good attitude, helping others out. No matter where, where I'm at or what I'm doing, I'm always trying to do those, and that's what makes me become a remarkable Raider. Two teachers I would like to thank for bringing me to where I am today is one, Miss Clifton, because she expanded my math skills, and she also taught me that when you're down in life, all you need is a mint. A mint can solve anything. Another teacher I would like to thank is Miss Bissell. She taught me all the marketing aspects I need to know and helped me become a businessman in the real world. She also showed me that it's sometimes good to take a different path than others. You don't have to follow others to be a good, a good person, and you can be a leader rather than being a follower, and that's what I like to be. Thank you, East Potting High School. Hey, Maverick Karen here. I just wanted to talk about how much of an honor it is to be selected as a remarkable Raider. I'm just amazed out of everybody in this school and all the seniors that there are that I was actually the one that was chosen. Thank you so much for the opportunity and being uh, chosen for a remarkable Raider. First teacher that I've picked to, has influenced me in my life so far is Miss Kress. She's my former elementary school teacher, but she has also followed me throughout my entire life. Miss Kress, I just wanted to thank you for everything you've done from when I struggled in elementary school and you always believed in me and helped me get through it. And then in middle school, you kept up with it and would text my mom all the time asking how I was and how life was going. Then I got the opportunity to coach your son Garrett in wrestling and see you almost every day and help him. It was like I was mentoring him, but you were also my mentor. I just wanted to thank you for everything, even now whenever you get in contact and ask how I'm doing and how everything's going and you're supporting me in uh, high school and in my future education. For my second teacher, I've chosen Mr. Holcomb. I just wanted to tell you, Mr. Holcomb, uh, ever since middle school, I've heard about how much of a good teacher, how much of a nice man you are, but I never had the opportunity to have you. 
until junior year of high school, I finally got you for U.S. history, and then again senior year for government. Or I just couldn't believe how much of a kind-hearted and sweet man you are, and how much you cared for each and every student. As of, I want to be a teacher whenever I get older, and you just have mentored me and shown me the way to how to become that kind of teacher and how to become a great man and just help every single student you can. You cared about all of us and how our grades and how much our parents and everything in life infected us. And if we didn't feel like we needed, or we didn't feel like working that day, then you would be there to help us and guide us through it. I just wanted to thank you for everything you've done and just wanted to tell you that I love you and thank you for everything, Mr. Oakland. Hello, East Paulding High School, class of 2020, and those who are not class of 2020. My name is Neil Jackson, and I was chosen to be one of the remarkable writers for this year. I want to say thank you to the people who have chosen me and everyone who have helped me get on this excellent path, remarkable path, I should say. And in my opinion, what it means to be a remarkable writer, it means someone who has a driving force, who always pushes himself to not their goal, but a few steps beyond their goal. It's someone who will walk into any atmosphere and say, you know what, I'm gonna leave my mark here. I'm gonna leave my mark for the better, for the future. It's creating a legacy almost, something really special. And I wanna attribute two people to helping me um, achieve this goal. The first, I want to um, thank Miss Dutton. She is a science teacher at East Pauline High School. I had, her, I had her my sophomore year for honors chemistry and my junior year for AP physics. She really taught me what it means to learn and really helped me value going out by myself and furthering my education. That really came through AP physics to kind of towards the back half of the year when I was like, oh no, this is so hard. This is, it's hard material. What do I do? What do I do? She kind of lit a fire in me to realize, wait a minute, I have the ability to teach myself this. And at that point, I started to teach myself more things that I didn't think I could. And I want to thank Ms. Dunn for that. The second person I want to thank is Mr. Robichon, our assistant band director and kind of head honcho of the percussion section. He has helped not only me, but everyone grow tenfold as performance people. That's a phrase, performance people. And, but also he's helped us all grow as people. He's helped teach us things, not only about music, but about life, how to handle adult situations and everything. And he's just, he's a phenomenal guy. Awesome guy, great musician, a great mentor, great person. I want to say thank you to everyone else. And this has been Neil Jackson. Love you guys. Adios. Uh, hi, I'm Stephen Jones. I'm making this video for the Remarkable Raider Award that I've been awarded recently, and I wanted to say that I'm really grateful for this award, and I I think it's a really great thing to recognize students for how they, or their position, I guess, in the school, and how they interact, and just how they really are, and I'm told I was supposed to thank some educators that have taught me in the past and explain why I am thanking them. And I've chosen, number one, my second grade teacher, Miss Pamela Googe. She was a teacher at Roberts Elementary. And she was very science-based. She had, we were in a, an outdoor classroom at the time. It was a, or it was a trailer. And it was kind of small, but like we we're second graders, we fit. Um, there was just all sorts of cool science stuff. There was like field journals on like butterflies and at recess I would sometimes get some of those field journals and kind of, cause we had, there was some butterfly bushes at the back that butterflies really loved to flock to and I would catch them and I'd look them up in the field journals. And she was always just really encouraging and it, she was, awesome. She really encouraged me. I fell in love with science. We had uh, chicks 
I think she still has those chicks and she harvests eggs from them. And she's just been a, a big impact in how I have performed academically. And my second teacher I'd like to thank is Mr. Curtis, Matthew Curtis at East. And he's another science teacher. He taught biology, uh, honors biology my freshman year for me. And I, at that point, I was kind of goofy, wacky, very kind of in your face with my humor. And he didn't question it. A lot of people did. People still do. Um, he just kind of rolled with the punches and con encouraged me to just keep doing what I was doing because I, I pay attention, but it doesn't look like I'm paying attention. And I think he really gets how students learn and does a very great job of understanding when we understand. And so I just wanted to thank those two teachers and thank you very much for this award. I'm Chaz Lauderdale, one of East Pauling's Remarkable Raiders. I just wanted to say that being a named Remarkable Raider is a huge honor to me because I take a lot of pride in the school through all the activities, athletics, and my academics. Without East Pauling and the things I've done there, I don't know if I'd be the person I am today. I don't know if I'd be as prepared as I am for college and the things that come in life. So I want to thank each and every person at East Paulding that I come in contact with, all the teachers, students, faculty, janitors, everybody. They all helped me become the person I am today, so thank you. Also, I'd like to mention two teachers that have really impacted my life. The first one is Taylor Ford. Many of you know him as Coach Ford. He's the East Paulding um, cross country and track coach. He has helped me find my passion for running, and he's been a tremendous coach. I've really seen improvement in myself, not just through running, but through life. And he always helped me push through everything, helped train me to be the best, and I just wanted to thank him for that. I'd also like to mention Ms. Bissell. She's been a great teacher and advisor for me for a decade. She took the chance on me to become a deck officer, and it's one of the best things I've ever done in my life because I got to go on so many trips and had so many great experiences and met new friends. I also learned the many skills that I'll use in the future throughout work and socially. And DEC has been an amazing part of my life. It's been one of the reasons why I had such a great high school experience. And I'm thankful for every moment of it. And thank you, Ms. Bissell, for being a great advisor. She cares about each and every one of us, and she just wants to see us all do our best. So thank you. Hi, I'm Skylin Lawson, and I was chosen as one of the 2020 Remarkable Raiders. What I think it means to be a remarkable reader is to be very kind and very open to try new things and always giving 110%, even when things get a little rough, much like our senior year. One of the teachers that has impacted me most is Miss Shebler. She is a very sweet, kind woman, and she got me back into wanting to write again. She has always inspired me, especially this year, and she told me I had a gift, and she always made me feel like nothing I did was wasn't dumb. She always encouraged everyone to do their best no matter what it was. And she always made everyone feel special even when hard times and she would open up about her personal life to the students which made her very an amazing teacher. So I just want to give her all the thanks in the world and just let everyone know that everyone loves her. She's so sweet. I always talk about her every day. So this one's for Ms. Shepler. Another teacher who has impacted me through my whole four years Britt Hensley. She has been teaching me for four years. She took a chance on a freshman. I started getting into musicals, like specifically musicals, around my freshman year. And I think if she wouldn't have taken a chance on a freshman, then I probably would not be where I am today. So a big thanks goes out to her. And being a director is very hard. Teaching and managing 50 students and telling them how to do a dance correctly and helping them with acting and making sure tickets go on sale, shirts are perfect. So I would just like to give a big thanks to her and just thank her for everything that she's done. That's This is from the whole theater company and we just love her very much. So she's one of the teachers who has impacted me very much. I love you very much, Miss B. My name is Clark Poss, and to me, being a remarkable reader kind of shows the good you do in a classroom, but also all the good things you do outside of the classroom. 
whether that's through sports or through clubs, just anything to make school more enjoyable and to make East Pauline look better from the outside. So the first thing I'd want to point out is baseball. I played baseball four years, and seeing everybody come together, having a good time, making school a little bit more enjoyable is kind of what a remarkable Raider kind of stands for. So with that, you got sports games like football and basketball, the student section coming together. When it gets deep, everyone likes it more. Everyone has a little bit more enjoyable time and also makes East Paulding look better from the outside. Another thing with that is clubs, all the clubs that help out the school so much. So for me, it was DECA, uh, running the school store, running prom, homecoming, pep rally every year. It's a lot of work, a lot of unnoticed time, but all that coming together to make everyone else have a little bit better time at school kind of makes it worth it. Uh, my first educator I'd like to shout out is Miss Clifton. Miss Clifton had the super hard class. All the material was hard, but she was such a good teacher and kind of made it easier and more enjoyable to learn every day. She always had a smile on her face. She was always laughing, joking around. So even if you're having a bad day, you had a bad test, whatever, she'd always kind of make it more enjoyable and try to help you out whatever way she can before and after if you ever had a problem. Uh, my next teacher I'd want to shout out is Miss Bissell because Miss Bissell does so much for the school and she literally runs everything you do at the school that's not a part of school. So homecoming, pep rally, all the DECA trips, everything, that's all on her. She does so well just doing everything she can to help anybody she wants and all that goes unrecognized. So thank you Miss Bissell and Miss Clifton for being the best teachers you could ask for and thank you. Hi, my name is Emily Rogers and it is an honor and privilege to be chosen as a remarkable writer and that my hard work and determination has been recognized. I have always tried my best in all of my classes and to represent the class of 2020 well. The two teachers I would like to dedicate my accomplishments to are Coach Zach Kilday and Ms. Raymond. Ms. Raymond was the best teacher, mentor, and friend. Her class was always a refuge for me during stressful times and she always gave me whatever I needed, whether it was advice, homework help, or just someone to rant to. My love for anatomy and helping others were, was nurtured by her and her willingness to help in any way possible. What I loved the most about her was when she would tell me random things about medicine or healthcare and even show me her gross anatomy PowerPoints during lunch. She allowed me to help her study for her phlebotomy test and even threatened to use me as a test subject, but I didn't mind because I was learning too. Her love and passion for anatomy is what made me want to pursue a career in healthcare. I will cherish my relationship with Ms. Raymond as she was always available for me even during her moments of peaceful planning time. Coach Kilday was a great teacher and mentor to me, and his class classroom was always a fun environment to be in. He would be yelling and hyper even if it was 8 a.m. on a Monday morning. Review games of trash ball were some of the most intense moments of my high school career, and I still can't make it into the basket even after two years of games. He made me realize that I wanted to be in the medical field and pursue nursing, and he even had the faith in me to put me in a leader posi leadership position in healthcare. HOSA. Being in this class for the past two years pushed me to be the best that I can be and learn all that I can, and I'm forever grateful. Hello! <laughs> uh, my name is Olivia Fazika, and I've been chosen as a remarkable raider for the class of 2020. I seriously did not expect this, <laughs> but I am just so humbled and surprised and thankful that I was chosen. Uh, when I got the email, I was just in shock because when I put in my application, I was just really unsure as to what was going to happen. Uh, there were so many wonderful, dedicated people in this school that really deserved this recognition. But the fact that I got picked, it, it really brought a lot of light to my day. Uh, it's just so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, especially considering all that's happening with the virus and the fact that we're not coming back to school and graduation is so uncertain. It's just, yeah, this, this is just awesome, guys. <laughs> Um, I'm just so thankful. <laughs> okay, so a couple teachers that really inspired me in my education and were just really, I can't, I can't limit it down to two, but since I have to, uh, one of them has to be Mr. Holcomb. Has to be. Uh, I had him in eighth grade for a class called Georgia Studies, and that's a class I'll never forget. We were just... A family in there and he was just always so sweet like he, he the way he teaches is just so friendly and he makes sure to form a meaningful relationship with all of his students and make sure that just everyone gets something out of that class that they'll carry for the rest of their lives whether that's a new courage or independence or stuff like that 
and we worked together as a unit, but also we were, we had the strength to be more independent with, with ourselves and our score discussions were also like a huge, huge thing for me. And wow, he's just awesome. <laughs> Okay, so the second teacher, without a doubt, has to be Miss Hallie. There's no question. She's just incredible from how elegant she is to the way she speaks through every lecture, as cool as a cucumber, and just her sheer air of control and grace. She's so eloquent in the way she talks, and like, she can look at a confusing poem uh, in a textbook, and we're all just looking at it like, what is this? <laughs> and then, she just opens up the book, reads through every line and decodes it, and it's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, she is like one of my main inspirations to strive to be my best at everything. And she really taught me, like, all of her assignments are really challenging, but that's with a purpose. Because life is going to be challenging, and we're going to not be comfortable, and we really need to be comfortable with that and just be able to pull through and be strong and if you do your darndest on everything you do and she knows it she will not let you fall and that means so much to me and the teachers thank you so much mr holcomb and miss howard for being so spectacular and for uh being a part of who i am and just thank you East Paulding High School for picking me. This, this, this means so much to me. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Jared Swiney and I'm extremely honored to be chosen as a Remarkable Raider. Over the last four years, East Paulding has really been a home to me in so many different ways, from the clubs that I was a part of to the sports that I played. Um, it really just made me feel like I was part of something bigger than myself. And I feel like that's what this school gives you. It gives you that ability to step in um, and no matter what you're interested in or what your personality is, there's a place for you somewhere. And I really love that about East Paulding. And I feel like being chosen for this really shows dedication, not just to yourself and your education, but also shows dedication to the school and, and the things that you've done to the school and for the school and I feel like over the last four years I've put a lot into this school and and it's just awesome to be rewarded in, the, in this way. Over the last 13 years of my education I have really been impacted by these two specific teachers. One being Miss Haley Bissell, Miss Paulding High School and the other was Miss Clifton. And the reason that these teachers really impacted me in this way is I'll start with Miss Bissell. She was my marketing teacher and also the DECA advisor. And being in both these roles was kind of a unique opportunity for her um, in the fact that she kind of saw me in, in both situations. And she was able to teach me so much, not just about specifically marketing itself, which I did learn a lot about, but also a lot about life and life skills and business skills. As the um, leader and of our club, she was really kind of there always to lead me in the right directions. And as I became an officer and went on the different leadership conferences, I was able to learn a lot through that. And she was really able to feed into me in that way and, and taught me a lot. Miss Clifton was my pre-calculus teacher. And what was unique about her and that really kind of set her apart from other teachers that I've had over the last 13 years is the fact that she didn't just care about us as students in the classroom, but she also cared about what we had going on outside of that. So when it came to math, um, which is my strong suit, obviously I really enjoy doing the work and she really gave me a lot of leeway. If I didn't need to do as much because I really understand something, she got that. And if I needed a little extra help, she was there for that as well. But she also took it a step further and she made sure that every time I came back from a competition or a race or something like that, that she asked about it. She really cared about how things were going, how training was going, how competition prep was going. And that's what was one of the biggest things that really stood out to me about her is that she really always took that extra extra step to be there for her students. Um, those are the teachers that have really impacted me the most and honestly I'm super excited to have been chosen as a Remarkable Writer. Thank you. 
Hey everybody, hope you stay inside, hope you stay safe, washing your hands. My name is Jesse Williamson and I was chosen this year to be one of East Poland's Remarkable Raiders. It's an honor, thank y'all so much, it means a lot to me very dearly. What I think it means to be a Remarkable Raider is to just be a good, genuine person and to be able to adapt and overcome things. And, um... Judging from where I came from and to where I am now, is a total 360. Uh, I moved here from Fort Payne, Alabama two years ago. Didn't know what I was going to do with my life. Didn't have a plan in life. Didn't have a goal. And now I have everything situated. Um, I'm going to a police academy to be a, a police officer. And I couldn't be more happier with myself. So thank y'all very much. And... Um, Thank y'all for just helping me and just, you know, just sticking in there with me. Um, the two teachers that most influenced my life has been from East Baldwin. One is Miss Floyd. Miss Floyd is almost like a mama to me. Um, she's helped me in my life in ways I can't describe. It's amazing. Um, she connected me on so many personal levels. And just stuck in there and just helped me and just wouldn't give up. And I uh, thank you so much, Miss Floyd. Um, I hope I get to see you soon. And the next teacher is Miss Osnack. She was my culinary teacher. Uh, by the way, Miss Floyd was my language arts teacher. So she taught me how to speak just a little bit better. But Miss um, Osnack was my culinary teacher. She taught me you know to stuff in the kitchen just how to hold a knife right make sure you don't get arthritis stuff like that um told me how to cook and whatnot and she helped me on a lot of personal levels as well because when i first got here i i was like a tornado i was just scattered everywhere and them two teachers just you know just helped me find myself again and just stuck in there with me and was like, you know what? I'm not going to give up on you. And that means a lot to me. Uh, I care about y'all very, very much. And I hope I get to see y'all soon. Um, thank y'all once again for letting me uh, have this opportunity. And y'all choose me to be a remarkable raider. That means so much. Um, I hope everyone is well and is okay through these hard times uh we'll get through it and we can only get through it together thank y'all very much uh it's kind of sad that i'm leaving this year though i won't get to irritate any of y'all anymore with my guitar and uh just stuff like that but thank y'all very much y'all hope y'all have a blessed day and uh take care bye bye Thank you so much for selecting me as a Remarkable Raider for this year. I'm so thankful, especially with all of the amazing students that we have that go to East Paulding. So thank you for selecting me. My first teacher who has really impacted my life tremendously is Miss Haley Vissel. She believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. When I felt like I had like nothing else to give, she was right there to push me and make me a better person. She impacted my four years of high school and so many ways I don't think she'll ever understand. These last four years would have been tremendously different if she was not there. My second teacher who really impacted me was Miss Tiffany Lang. Teachers, they teach the students math and science and all of all those subjects and it's all really important but Miss Lang taught life lessons, things that we actually need and those things you can't find in a book. She wrote all of my college recommendations. I don't know what I would do without Miss Lang. So those two teachers impacted me so much and I'm so thankful for them.